Okay, so the next thing in our uh, animation storyboard was to animate and reveal the uh, speech bubble here. So what we are going to do is to just take the speech bubble uh, and take the objects of the speech bubble and use it in a movie clip. We want to make it into its own symbol. So I'm going to take <coughs> all of those assets by just clicking on that frame and copying. I'm going to create a new symbol. I'm going to call it movie speech bubble. Make sure it's a movie clip and click OK. And now I'm in the timeline for that movie clip. And I'm just going to paste what I've copied there, which is the text and the uh, and the speech bubble shape and just name that layer speech bubble okay now I'm going to use uh, again this masking effect to do the animation but this time I'm going to use a shape tween so instead of just moving the mask I'm going to actually change the shape of the mask and the shape changing is going to be what reveals the speech bubble so the first thing I'm going to do is create a new layer and name it mask and I'm just going to select using my select tool fill of the uh, and the stroke and I'm just going to go around and shift select the stroke the reason I'm shift selecting the stroke is not that it's needed it's simply that it makes it easier to see the uh, outline of the mask uh, we need to just play about with that for positioning. So I'm going to select all that and I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste all of it onto the first keyframe of the mask layer. Okay. Um, then I'm going to just drag that keyframe to a point in the future. And I'm going to make sure that the speech bubble exists at that point in the future by right clicking and insert frames on that layer too okay so that's what we've got at the moment now a shape tween is slightly different from a motion tween in the sense that neither of the shapes we're tweening to have to be symbols in fact they won't work if the symbols they just have to be shapes hence the name shape tween so at this frame frame one on the mask layer I'm just going to create Again, another little shape. And I'm just going to position it just down by the starting point of the speech bubble. So what we're going to do is grow the shape that's here into the speech bubble shape. And I do that simply by right clicking and choosing create shape tween. We can kind of see the effect of what's happening there. We can see that shape changing to be the speech bubble. Now I will at this point probably need to make the speech bubble a little bit bigger than the actual bubble we, we've got. So I'm just going to do that now. Expand it upwards a little bit and outwards a little bit. I might need to play around with this and then I'm going to right click on this and make that a mask layer again. Now if we look at the animation we can see how the shape now that's changing shape and that animation is also being used to do the reveal. So if I go, in and go back to my scene, I can use that in my scene. We can see the effect of that. So I've just deleted everything that exists on that frame, or on that layer on that frame, and I've just dragged my movie, bu movie bubble speech bubble into here. And I'm going to make it exist for the same amount of time it exists in its own timeline, which is 20 frames. And we can see the result of that here. And that's adding a revealing speech bubble.